you doing? Today we're going to do a practical thing on DIY CO2 with using yeast. And so we are going to be at the work table the whole time. Okay, so here we are. So you guys know that I like DIY a lot, right? But when it comes to these bottle caps, I just don't fool around. I just go and buy them because they have these nice, two nice bibs on them already, so professional looking. And so I use those. So I'm using two. One is for a water bottle and the other one is for the yeast bottle. So the yeast bottle will be here. I usually screw it on because it's no point trying to screw on the cap. So I turn the bottle instead. So on these, this little dib has just a line with a clamp and this clamp can be opened at night if you don't want to have too much carbon dioxide going into your tank at night. So what I do is I just set an alarm on my, on my uh, phone, set one for the night to open the clamp, set an alarm in the morning to close the clamp. So at night, the carbon dioxide will come out here instead of going to the tank. So when this is closed during the day, your carbon dioxide will come up this tube and go over to the water bottle. Now you'll see that there's a line going into the water. That is so that we can bubble the carbon dioxide through water to clean it up a little bit so that no muck will get into the tank. The carbon dioxide bubbles up through the water, comes in here and goes out. So the line to the tank, I haven't attached it because I wanted to show you how to attach it. This is the line to the tank and it has a backflow valve so that, you know, tank water can't um, siphon off all night long, all day and all night. And then this has a little connector. I get those little connectors at eBay as well, but you can find them in many other places too. So that will connect to my black airline that's actually going into the tank. And here is the black, the black airline that actually goes into the tank is, let's move this stuff a little bit. So I have this part, here's the diffuser. I'm just using an air stone. Um, that will lie on the substrate. And then this part goes up the corner and out to this carbon dioxide. Okay, so that one, I'm going to put that in separately and then attach it. So I'm going to arrange it in the tank first and then connect it to the system. All right, so what have we got? We have to attach this. So what I usually do is, like, they come with these things um, screwed down already. So that will be on. I usually just take them off. Some people just loosen them. You can just have them loose and put your tube in from here. It works as well, but I find it a little bit hard to know if you've got it on properly. So I actually take it off completely, put it on the tube first, and then attach. So I'm making sure the tube is really down there. And Why? then, mm -hmm, okay. And then I'm going to tighten it up. Oh, you, you I am making a video, yes. So I can't talk. It's okay, you, you're fine. Um, I try to tighten them down as much as I can because you don't want any of your precious CO2 to be wasted, right? So then when I have this full of water, I will put that in there and twist the bottle on. Okay. 
And that is the system. So now we will go on to the actual recipe. So here we are. We're going to make up the recipe now. And the yeast that I've got is, it's called K1-V1116. I got it at a um, winemaker's shop, but you can get it at Amazon as well. So it's quite a common yeast actually for winemakers. Okay, so we're going to put in, um, we're going to actually dissolve this in some warm water for about 10 or 15 minutes. So we're going to put half a teaspoon and I've got some warm water here. Let me just open the package first. I've got a quarter measure here, so I'm going to use two of them actually. Um, and my warm water is right here. So this is one cup of warm water. I'm actually working on top of my keyboard, so hopefully this works. There we go. So two of these. It doesn't matter a whole lot because it is a living organism, so it will develop, you know, it will multiply. So if you don't get the amount exact, it won't matter too much, as long as you get a good amount. So I'll be putting this back in, the, uh, I'll be keeping this in the fridge in a zip bag for next time. These are quite inexpensive and you get, it seems like you'll get two or three um, bottles out of that one package. Like less than two dollars I believe they are. Three maximum was the, I don't remember, <laughs> but I don't think it was more than three dollars. Um, so now in this bottle, this is the uh, final bottle, okay. So in here I have five cups of water, one cup of sugar, and then I have this yeast nutrient it's called, which I also got from my winemaker's shop. It's mostly um, B vitamins and a dead yeast, or an inactive yeast I should call it. I mean it's dead, yeah. but. Um, so, uh, from this bag, I only used quarter of a teaspoon. So in here is the five cups of water, one cup of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of yeast nutrient. So I will just let that dissolve while, while this is, we should get this one stirred up so that, because this yeast is dry, okay, so it has to be moistened so that it will come alive. It's sleeping right now. We're going to wake it up. There we go. So we'll wait fi uh, 15 minutes and come back. Okay, so that was 15 minutes. Um, so I will just give this a little bit of a stir to make sure it's all stirred up nicely. And we can pour it into the bottle, final bottle. There we go. And then we will put this on the aquarium and I'll show you how it looks at the end. Okay. So this is the back of my aquarium. 
and that's how it's going up to the black line and into the tank see that that's how it is so it's pretty easy to um, to set up and then the clamp can be taken off at night fairly easily no problems this is the front of the tank and you can see the air stone is right there pretty inconspicuous but I think I'm gonna have to put a, um, a plant weight on the airline so that it rests flat on the substrate so that's it yeah sorry my glass has some algae on it which I usually leave on unless someone's coming over <laughs> because it, the algae actually prevents sun from getting into the tank so it's okay to have algae on the glass but not in the tank itself I find it works really well when there's algae on the front glass, the, the tank itself remains quite free of algae. And I can just quickly scrape it off if I know I have people coming over. <laughs> oh, well, th these are the things we do, right? <laughs> uh, okay, um, that's it for today. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye!